I just, that's how I do. Everyone stands up and heads for the door when... Oh, one more thing. Uh, usually movie night is third Thursday of the month. Uh, but I was thinking of screening a flick tonight. A bit of escapism would do us all good. Oh, something soft. I like intergalactic bounty hunter. Jack's his film debut. I love that one. It's one of her room's favourites too. It's an 80s classic. Hmm. We're going to screen it as a surprise for his birthday next month. But now seems like a good a time as any for a fun surprise. Wonderful. Movie night starts at 7.30 sharp. I'll put flyers on everyone's door announcing a special screening. And if you see Jax, make sure he's coming. But remember, don't tell him what film we're playing. We want it to be a surprise. Another wonderful idea. Enjoy the movie, everyone. Hey, Francine. Wait up. So, uh, ha ha. Did you get my note? Yes, it totally turned me on. Uh, now's not the time, but Oh, yeah, we're gonna just... We're gonna go and see other people. Now's not the time, but Kind of inappropriate to try and get in my pants. Try a kind of inappropriate to try and get in my pants after a grief counselling. Inappropriate is, uh, <laughs> my new, uh, my middle name. Nah. So, moving on. Uh, you wanna go with me? Uh, maybe. We'll see. Let's keep our options open. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but I'll see you at seven. Bl Blair. Blair. I still like his quips. His quips are very good. Oh, come on. You heard what he said. Escapism will do us good. You agree with Esther? Not in 9% of the time. No. But this is a special case. Here. Come to movie night with me. All right, fine. I'll go with you. No, thanks. I want to go with someone else. Let's go with someone else. No, thanks. But you'll be missing out on some prime seats and the best contraband snacks. I think I'll live. All right. We'll see if we, who we can go with. Let's see if we can go with someone else. Question is, oh, hello, robot. I survived counselling. <coughs> oh, tired of being cooled up in here. Okay, let's go for a walk. <coughs> Man's down the hall, stopping to explore every speck of dust on the floor and ignoring your gentle tugs on the cat harness. Come on, robot, or, or, or don't. Before we head outside, I should find Jax, ask someone to the movie. Ooh, which one? Do we ask someone to the movie or do we just go and find Jax? Jax looks like he was finding his own way to grieve. As much as Blair was, was good fun. It's like, we've, we had a bit of fun. Let's see uh, who else we can get get going on the movie scene. The date, the date scene. Right, let's go and find Jax. I want to make sure he's okay and that he's coming to movie night. Wouldn't be a very good surprise if he's not there. You knock on Jax's door, but there's no answer. Down the hall to your left, you see Blair head into the dining hall. To your right, you see Mariana head to the greenhouse. I bet one of them knows where Jax is. I'll ask. Let's ask Mariana. We've just told Blair no, and it's uh, can't be bothered to go and uh, <laughs> sort out Blair again. She's snipping some herbs into a jar. Hi, Mariana. Oh, hi, Francine. And Robot. <coughs> I'm looking for Jax, but he doesn't seem to be home, and he wasn't at counselling. You haven't seen him, have you? I'm afraid I haven't. But I wouldn't worry. Jax prefers to deal with grief on his own, away from the spotlight. He's probably channeling his emotions into some brilliant new songs. But if you see him before I do, tell him about movie night, but don't tell him which film. That's very true, Ryder. Good good thinking, good thinking. Oh, don't worry, I, I won't ruin the surprise. You are coming, right? Of course, I just... I need a light-hearted f action flick after the last 24 hours. Great, I'll swing by your place at 7pm to get you. Oh! Uh... Uh... I think the decision's been made that Mariana's coming to get us. How many people are coming to get me? At my place. <laughs> oh my. Uh, well, two steps and immediately flops on the grass, refusing to move. Ah, knew me! <laughs> you survived group counselling. Was there ever a chance I wouldn't? There's always a chance one of us won't pull through. <laughs> That's a bleak outlook, but then again, you do run a death pool. Just making the best out of a bad situation. That was a great idea to donate the money in John's name. It, it was the least I could do. Uh, so, do you want in on it? On what? The death pool? Of course, the death pool. Uh, we've already agreed that we're not going to go in the death pool. Think I'll pass. You're lost, but if you change your mind, I'll be taking wages on the movie later. You coming? Uh, yes, Mariana is meeting me at my place first at seven. Uh, cool, I'll come knocking then too. See you later, newbie. Okay, so he's coming anyway. 
You're walking robot back to your apartment when you run into... Jax! There you are. Hi, Francine. He keeps walking right past you. Jax, wait! Oh, what is it? Are you okay? You weren't just counselling. Uh, it's, it's not really my scene. Me neither, but it turned out to be rather helpful. I was sceptical at first when Nelson said, uh, No recap necessary, Francine. I've been to so many. I know what happens. So you don't find counselling helpful? Guess you knew about Blair's death pool too. Let's go, you don't find counselling helpful. Look, I've been staring death in the face for decades now. I have HIV. Lots of my friends died of AIDS. I've been on the grief counselling circuit for so long, it qualifies as a comeback tour. And it, it never gets easier. Talking about death over and over is draining. Especially at this age. What I wouldn't do to be young and superficially angsty again. Uh, tell me about it. Eh, yeah, I think I know something that would cheer you up. Movie night! Uh, thanks, but I don't feel like socialising today. Now if you'll excuse me, my midday medicinal smoke awaits. But you have to come. Why? Uh, what do I say? Obviously I can't tell Jax that the movie is a surprise for him. How do I get Jax to come to movie night? Tell him... Estimate movie night mandatory. I just really like it if you came with me. Ah, oh, let's do that. I'd really like it if if you came with me. Uh, like I said, I am not feeling terribly social. You, you you don't have to talk. It it's a movie. Well, okay. Nice thinking, Ryder, with that. That he has to come. That's a way to get him to come if he comes with me. Right. I'll be glad you came. You'll be glad you came. I promise. Where did you say you lived again? Apartment 109. Right. I'll swing by at 7 o'clock then. Oh my god, I've got the, the harem people. We're all here. They're all coming at 7 o'clock to meet me. It's wonderful. So you've got Jax to come to me. I, <laughs> I propositioned a rock star and he said yes! <laughs> Love it! <laughs> I had to go with that one. Uh, love it. Uh, <laughs> now we just need Albert. And then our harem will be complete. <laughs> ah, hey, Francine! Uh, his gold chains and glasses sparkle, freshly polished. It looks like he's even brushed his goatee. Oh, wow, you look super spiffy. Ah, thanks. Uh, was I, uh, dog's breakfast before? Oh, I didn't mean... Ah, just putting your leg. Here, bought you something. He gives me a paper bag. What's this for? You didn't need to bring me... Oh, wow. A bourbon? Well, not the cheap stuff. Where did you get this? Nah, I have my connections. <laughs> Only the best for my favourite newbie. You like? Oh, I... <laughs> Uh, actually, I don't like bourbon. Sorry, I don't drink. Uh, I think we like the bourbon. What, what do we say? Do we do we like the bourbon? I think we like the bourbon. I do. Thank you. I'll definitely break this out on special occasions. <laughs> like, uh, tonight? Excuse me. You answer the door. Hi, Francine. Mariana! Wow, that's a hot outfit. Way to make the 80s look good. Free gift is free. Good point, Ryder. Why, thank you. I suddenly feel underdressed. Please, you look great. I have something for you. She gives you a blue cookie tin. What? What's this? You didn't have to bring me cookies. <laughs> I didn't. Open it. <gasps> She's the weed! She's her weed! It's her weed. You open the tin. Brownies! Uh, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't know this was a movie plus gift exchange. I, I have nothing to offer you. Ah. Uh, not true? Bob and Mariana? Oh, yes, please. Francine, it was nothing. I had some time on my hands. So I whipped up some sweets with someone sweet. Oh, everyone's getting in here. Yay! That must be. You open the door. He holds out a bouquet of flowers. Evening, Francine. You came with a gift, too. Does Jack think this is a date date? Oh, you, you didn't forget about our date, did you? He does think this is a date. They all do. <gasps> is our harem going to become... Oh my god, if our harem is becoming real. It's becoming real. Jax, fancy seeing you here. Blair, Mariana, eh. Hey, pal, ah, care for some bourbon? I'm good for now, thanks. Had a pre-date joint a little while ago. Oh, damn. <laughs> Who's the lucky prospect? Francine, why do you think I'm here? Ah, good one. That's so much yet. Francine's my date for movie night. Oh, I actually turned down 
I turned down Blair. I am not his actual date. What a coincidence. Francine is my date too. What an embarrassing mix-up. What do I do? Or rather, what would my favourite golden girl do? Yes! It's an option! Like Rose, naively act like I don't know what's up. Be like Dorothy and set the record straight. Uh, channel Blanche and suggest a group date. <laughs> do we do it? Do we, do we? Do we do this one? Do we do it? Do we do it? We do it. We do it! We do it! Oh, you see, you're all so sexy. I couldn't make my mind up. I I want to date you all. <whistles> well, if that's, uh, that's what you're into, I'm down. I wouldn't say no either. I'm open. Oh my god! Group date! Ah, this is amazing! <laughs> I'm open too. As long as that's what you want, Francine. What do, what do I want? Ah! Ah! Yes! <laughs> Flutty duckling in the house! We get to flat and date with everyone! Oh god, my phone's dropped! Ah! <laughs> yes! I'm up for a group date. After all, today's therapy session encouraged me to let people into my life. Human contact is good for the soul. And I'll get more contact with three days. Now I like the way you think, Francine. I'm up for that. Hey, <laughs> me too. All right, my sexy dates. To movie night. Oh my god. Oh my, the room's almost full. I wonder what movie they're playing tonight. I'll bring out this kind of crowd. Hey, it must be a blockbuster with a hunky lead actor. <laughs> well, that narrows it down. Hopefully we can get seats... T oh, uh, hopefully we can all get seats together. <laughs> oh, Blair's got you covered. I have a bunch of saved over there. Oh, hero. Thanks, Blair. Uh, mind if uh, this hero sits next to you? Uh... Uh, not at all. Only if you share. Only if you share your snacks with me. <laughs> only if you share your snacks with me. <laughs> I have more than snacks to share. Blair's big into sharing. Oh, I think they've had a thing. Mm, I think they've had a thing. Blair's big into sharing. <laughs> Plenty of me to go around. Oh, look! Behold our premium seats. Hi, friends. Hello to you too. Ready for the movie? I think they still do. Yeah, I'm thinking that. Beyond ready, I'm running out of patience. Oh, jeez, old oh, is a uh, surprise, isn't even for you. Uh, what's su what surprise? Oh, quick, say something, anything before the surprise is ruined. Uh, the surprise is that Blair resurrected the death book, brought contraband stacks. Whew, what have you got, Blair? Well, I've uh, got something special planned for later. But right now, I can offer you either regular or ghost pepper chilli cheese puffs. Or my favourite treat, quicksand. Oh, I remember those. I, I don't. What on earth is quicksand? Uh, they're these chocolate candies with super chewy peanut butter in the middle. If you're not careful, they'll pull your teeth out. Uh, no matter whether your pearly whites are real or fake. <laughs> I think I'll take my chances on some regular flavoured chilli cheesy puffs. Sure thing, blue eyes. Just keep them out of sight. Esther's the contraband candy cop. And we don't want her confiscating our stash. And here she comes. Esther! Hi, everyone. Great turnout, don't you think? I say you've outdone yourself. Well, thank you. Now, excuse me, it's time to get this movie started. I forgot, and the Galactic Bounty Hunter opened with a shot of Jax looking totally badass. Wow. Oh, hang on. Hi, lady knows bus kill. Damn right she is. Look at that dreamboat. Woo! We love you, Jax! What the hell is this? What? Oh, don't you recognise that baby face of yours? Of course I do! But why is it on the screen? <laughs> We've all been feeling down and needed a mood booster. So we thought, why not show your film? Plus, it's a surprise tribute to you, our resident rock star. <laughs> a good tribute is a life. Oh, wait, wrong voice, wrong voice. A good tribute is a lifetime achievement award or a killer song medley. Not some shitty film. Turns to you, is this why you insisted I come to movie now? Uh, no, I really did just want to come and hang out with you. Yes, it was supposed to be a fun surprise. Oh, I didn't think he'd realise. I think, 
No, I really did just want to hang out with you. No, I, I really did just want to hang out with you. So you didn't know about this? Well, I knew. He points to move scene. Do you know how long it's taken to put that part of my life behind me? And now you're rubbing it in my face. Buddy, no, no. Buddy, no. Uh, we just thought it'd be a fun trip down memory lane. Uh, we're, we're really sorry. And I'm really sorry I came. That, that backfired. Poor Jax. I'll go talk to him after I convince Jack to come out for this. Oh, no. Oh, oh. We, we haven't saved this. You find Jax outside sitting on a bench, angrily trying to light a joint. Jax, save your breath. Oh God, which one do we go for? One or two? I feel like we can say it. Maybe, maybe we just don't say anything. I think that's just going to get us in more trouble. Maybe we just, we just... Hey, Elite! Oh, no! It's all right, Elite. No worries. Two? Oh, we got two. Okay. I won't say anything. You sit beside him quietly, watching the night. He puffs on his joint, not looking at you. He's very angry right now. A minute passes, then... I don't need a reminder of the successful career I once had. Or how young and beautiful I used to be. I'm not that guy anymore. I'll never be that guy again. Jax, you're still beautiful. Get over yourself. <laughs> oh, oh, I kind of want to say, I think just saying you're still beautiful is not right. I think it's just get over yourself. We get old, we get wrinkly. Deal with it. I kind of want to go for two. Mm. Right, I'm going to need your help. Mm. And do it. All right. Get over yourself. Uh, Excuse me, we all age, and beauty is an arbitrary concept dictated to us by the media and egomaniacs who call themselves influencers. To hell with them, who may be jealous of that young kid on screen, but guess what? I think the guy standing in front of me is much more interesting. You think a bastard's prime rock star who's supposed to die decades ago is interesting? Absolutely, you've had this for life with loads of experiences to share. You're someone I want to get to know better. How much better? Oh! Oh! Intimately better. It worked! Hey! It worked! Hey, and we're in an open group date. Yay! Ah, We're snogging everyone. It's great. Ah. So, think we should go back to movie night? Depends. Are there any more surprises I should know about? Not that I'm aware of, but Blair mentioned something about snacks. Oh, Blair's snacks are usually a good surprise. Okay, let's go. He throws an arm around your shoulder and you walk back into the dining hall. Okay, people, I'm ready to watch this campy movie with you. Jack, I owe an apology. We, we should have asked. It's okay, Esther. No hard feelings. See, told you we could say this. We totally could. It was dream team right out there. You and Jack sit down in the audience. Looks up at the screen and goes, oh, Seriously? Who paused the movie on that pause? That was me! Uh, I love how your abs peek through the cutout of the jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Those abs deserve a Best Supporting Actor Award. Uh, folks, I hope you're hungry. I was up a huge tray of snacks. <gasps> Crab cakes, popcorn, chicken wings, cupcakes, even mac and cheese. <laughs> I love mac and cheese. Uh, I know you do, man. <laughs> hmm, I'm going to... Have a snack container of mac and cheese. Go for the deep fried crab, ca deep fried crab cakes and wings. That's my sweet tooth. I'm just gonna take one of everything. We have jacks. We have snacks. Time to start this movie again. Yes, I'm ready for some lasers. Lots of lame, lame, lame. I don't know what that says. And no more surprises. He holds a cupcake. Uh, on it is Jax's young face. I swear I didn't know about those. Hmm. <laughs> Are you alive? No. Uh. I love. How do you know a lemon was my favourite flavour? Who told us at the last potluck when you raved about my lemon shortbread? Right. Thanks for remembering. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I've always wanted to buy Jack's face. <laughs> and now you can. By the way, uh, everything's on the house tonight in honour of John, who never ever paid me anyway. May he rest in peace. To John, 
She raises her snack container of mac and cheese and a toast. You and everyone else raise your snacks. Judge on! Yay! Later, daters. <laughs> Later, daters. Oh, my days. We saved it. Later, we saved it, guys. We... La, 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 la. We saved it, but my voice...